Welcome back to getting started with Ignite as an in-memory database. We're going to use the freely available Ignite web console to sign in and manage our clusters. We can see that the web console has a number of capabilities from configuring, interacting and querying our cluster, monitoring and managing the, the cluster. Today, we're going to build a new cluster and use the wizard that is available to us. Today, we're going to be working with the in the sales domain. So I'm going to name my cluster sales. I'm going to choose a different type of cluster discovery. And I'm going to be, begin building tables and caches. But instead of building them, I'm going to use the import database option to do that. Let me save the changes so far and import from a database. Now, whether I'm importing a database because I'm going to cache it, as in the data grid vertical scenario we talked about, or whether I'm gonna use a data source as a model uh, for data that I'm gonna import, I can do that from here. So let me pick my data source put in my URL here. My user ID and credentials and hope I didn't make any mistakes. Pick the schema that I'm interested in right now and continue on. The web console introspects those backend data sources. And I'm going to choose replicated for the majority of my tables, but for the bigger tables, I'm going to partition them and take advantage of the power of the horizontal scalability. So orders and order details are tables that are gonna be quite large. So let me make those partitioned. And all the others are generally smaller or reference tables, master tables that I want to be available on every node so that the partitioning, uh, sorry, that the key query, the joining will perform as fast as possible. So I'm happy with those changes. I'm going to organize my subject areas uh, and call this sales in the package in our object namespace. So let's save the changes we've made and confirm to move on. So the web console has built us a basic sales cluster. And to see more advanced features, we can pick on the advanced tab and it presents us with a range of functionality that we can view. If we wanted to make changes to something like the client connector configuration and change the port value, we could do that from here. The benefit to you is that it shows you all the different parameters that are related to that particular feature. So we save our changes and proceed on. Now for our in-memory database, we wanna take a look at the tabular or the SQL view of the imported tables. And we see our list of tables here, presented here, and we um, can pick a particular table and see the details about it. So we see, for instance, that this particular table, the order details table, has five different fields, two of which the order number and the product code are part of the key fields. And we've also imported a, an index that is based on the um, product code description. So we're able to search by that as well. Now in Ignite, a key part of performance of your SQL is related to indexes, but in a distributed or partitioned world, uh, in addition to indexes, the data affinity where in the cluster the data resides is important to, to performance as well. So let's go take a look at 
the affinity for this particular table. That happens to be on the caches tab. So let's go look at the order details um, cache and take a look at the key configuration, which describes how the, the data is partitioned. So we know that the um, I should say we recall that the order details table was keyed by order number and line item. So let's, instead of partitioning by both the order, uh, the order number and the line item, let's just use the same affinity as the order table. That way the order detail will be partitioned and laid out in the same way as the order. So we know that the order and all its details will be in the same partition, will be in the same node, will be in the same place in the cluster, so that when I join between the two, as I will often do, that these will stay together. Let's save our changes. I also like to organize my tables by SQL schema. And for this, I'm gonna pick the sales schema, make those changes and apply that to every table in there. Okay, so I've changed the C SQL schema for every one of the tables and they all reside in the same schema together. So I'm happy with my cluster. I'm happy with the tables that have been imported into the cluster. And I can see that my cluster now is, the sales cluster is ready to go here. I can take a quick look at the project structure. I see that it is a zip file that is a complete Maven project, including a palm file and Docker file um, for my use. I'm happy with that. So let's take that and download my sales project.